Welcome to the Recreation Nova Scotia Board of Directors video training series. This training series is made possible by a grant from the Nova Scotia Voluntary Sector Professional Capacity Trust. And this video is on developing policies. We've talked about policies in other videos around setting direction for the organization or providing direction to staff. You're going to find several situations beyond those two that it may be important to develop a policy. You may encounter issues that never seem to go away. Every second meeting, every third meeting, you're talking about the same thing, having the same debate and coming to the same answer. If you draft a policy, then it's done. You have the answer, everybody knows what it is, and you can move forward. Imagine staff who are stuck waiting for the board to meet to do something. So they're in the middle of a project and suddenly they have to wait six weeks till the next board meeting. If you can answer those questions in advance with a policy, then they don't have to wait. Pick up the policy, understand what it directs them to do, and keeps on going. Perhaps your organization has some very particular values, maybe around fundraising, and you can develop a policy to again answer those questions about fundraising before it shows up. Policies also create an opportunity to address conflict. There are many situations where there are multiple answers to a question, and a good policy decides what your organization's answer is, no matter who is facing the situation. So a good set of policies improve performance, improve relation between staff, board members, volunteers, and also it just prevents problems. Here are some sample policies that you may look at in your organization. A mission and vision statement that we did in a previous video is a great example of a policy. Goals and priority statements, roles and responsibilities, harassment policies, budget, and so on are all good policies. If you are worried about something happening, if you are worried about volunteers or staff doing something, there's a good reason to develop a policy. Let's look at one as an example. We've talked about conflict of interest and how important it is. When you create a conflict of interest policy, there are several sections you need to think about. Rationale, why do we need it? Who does it apply to and when do we apply it? What specifically happens? And we should also include in the bottom of it, when we implemented it, who was responsible for it, what the timelines were, when it will be reviewed again, how are we gonna make sure that people are following it? So if we do this as an actual example, what are we really worried about? What's the rationale? Well, we're concerned that people who are on our board, or who are volunteers, may want to do business with the association. Perhaps they own a computer store and we're going to buy computers. And how does that interaction occur? Perhaps they have children and you're at a summer sports club and your kids are going to want to get a job as a lifeguard or a canoe coach. Maybe we're worried that you have memberships in other organizations and that those will be in conflict. Or perhaps we're worried that through work that you do in the association, you may be making money. How does that look to other members when you as a board member are perhaps getting an honorarium or payment for services? Maybe there are other issues. But once you've identified those and we decide that this policy is going to apply to board members, what specifically happens? And for example, you could decide that if you're in conflict, you need to declare it at a board meeting. You need to step out of the discussion and the decision about that item, and you need to agree to not try and influence what's going on before, during, or after the debate or discussion. Now you have created your first policy. You'll find attached to this video a sample conflict of interest policy based on this example, as well as other sample policies, and a template form that you can fill in to draft your policies when you're faced with that task.